And Governor John Bell Edwards is also making an appearance in the Lake Area with just one day before the election. He visited the campus of Soella. KPLC's Olivia Vidal is there now with a recap of his visit. And Olivia, did the governor mention anything about the president coming to the area? Oh yeah, he did. Hey, Jillian. Hey, Cynthia. Yeah, Governor Edwards was very excited to be here in Southwest Louisiana, especially here on the campus of Soella. He, of course, welcomed the president to the lake area for the second time this year and talked about their working relationship. But like I mentioned earlier in the newscast, he said he's not worried about the president's visit impacting tomorrow's election outcome. But you know, it was interesting what he had to say about Soella. This school specifically just really impacting job growth across the state. But we know that already if you've seen any of the headlines. Uh, lately enrollment here at Soella is up. They've had a record year in the history of the school for the number of students who attend school here. Now the governor said the training and education that students receive here uh, at Soella is attractive by bringing big business to the state, especially if we can diversify the workforce. That means bringing more high tech businesses to the state. He says if he's elected a second term, he wants to continue working on workforce development and making sure students are equipped with the skills they need for quality jobs here in Louisiana. You're not going to be able to keep big businesses from investing in Louisiana because we have every other advantage there is, which is why we were precisely on the wrong road, headed in the wrong direction under my predecessor when for eight years we cut higher education more than any other state in the nation. We turned that around in my very first year and it is yielding big dividends to us uh, and we're going to keep doing that going forward. When I Now, the governor referred to a master plan moving forward, stating by year 2030, which if you think about it, is only 10 years away or getting toward the end of this second decade. Uh, he would like to see 60% of workforce to have a post high school credential or a degree, which he says will transform the economy. Back to you guys in the studio.